Lindsay Kukunda. I am from Uganda. I am a radio presenter. Sanyo FM is uh, it's an urban radio station. We play music for uh, youth aged between, say, 18 and 35. It's all about the music at Sanyo FM. And those are the sounds of Melba Moore and Freddie Jackson. The song is titled A Little Bit More, brings you to 40 minutes past 1 p.m. here on your 7 Star radio station, 88.2 Sanyo FM. How are you doing? Uh, Uganda is a very, very religious society mm -hmm. and it's very interesting how as long as you have a religion, it's all good. Muslims will work side by side with you know, Christians. Christians have different denominations, there's Catholics, there's, there's Anglicans. Uganda is a port for religion. You have all these different Indian sects. So I was a journalist for about three years with a magazine called the Kampala Dispatch. So one day my boss comes up to me and he's like, hey, here are these atheists who meet once a week or once a month. I'd like you to go up there for one or two meetings and write a story about them. So I went with a friend of mine called Stella. She was working with me as well back then. And we liked it. And we kept coming back and I kept coming back. I wrote the story. The story was a big hit. The more time I spent with this group, Free Thought, the more I realized how illogical were some of the things that I had been brought up to believe. So it was basically about being logical, I felt no pain, it was easy. And one year later I was an atheist. Free Thought itself is not just an organization, it becomes a family after a while. I'm, for a year now, a year and a half now, every Saturday I'm with my Free Thought people. I have a lot of extra time since I don't have to go to church, don't have to have these uh, religious meetings, you know, these religious gatherings with friends. I have more time to develop myself, more time to read serious books, and more time to spend having logical discussions. There's a God delusion. It was at the very beginning when I'm like, I'm going to do this. When I start reading philosophical things, it's a very, very hard book to read, and I stopped halfway through. But that's one. That is one of the books that helped me completely turn. An atheist, I was still kind of Catholic when I was reading that book. My self esteem improved, so did my sense of power. It was wonderful to realize that my life was in my hands and not in the hands of a being in the sky. To realize that you have all this stuff going on and you have to fix it yourself, you're not going to put your hands up and someone is going to help you. I felt a sense of power and I just began reviewing my life and taking positive steps to change what I did not like. At the age of 28, to enter into a business like being a radio presenter where everyone starts quite young and they've been for 13 years it requires a lot of courage which i wouldn't have had before when i was religious i'd have stuck to standards and societal norms and been like i've already been established in journalism i can't switch careers let me stay here you cannot reconvert an atheist you can't even begin to have that conversation I don't find society very hostile to people who are not religious. They just naturally assume that you're going to get what you deserve, which is hell, and they leave you to it. The morals we have because of religious beliefs are kind of breaking down. People are becoming more practical, and I think that in about 20 to 30 years we'll have a lot more skeptics in Uganda.